Why is the core of this planet acting so strangely? Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryant of Magnetic Service. I have just given you one of the most exciting things I can tell you. It's a mystery to most, unless you have studied the work of Cryon. 1989, 35 years ago, I came in with a message. Published in 1993 in Cryon Book One, and it talked about the magnetics of your planet, the grid, the magnetic grid of your planet. Specifically, I told you something that 35 years before I arrived was actually seen by scientists. The idea that the core of your Earth was actually isolated and moved differently than the rest of your planet. And now you're seeing it. Now you're seeing it because the instruments you are using 70 years later are better and confirming not only is it acting strangely, it's moving completely separately than the other parts of the magma, even perhaps reversing. And here is the excitement. Because when I gave the information in 1993, I told you the following. The magnetics of your planet is going to shift greatly. You got to see it. You got to see it within a few years. When the whales of the planet started beaching themselves, because what you had happened already is the magnetics of the planet, that's where your north points on the compass had changed. And the whales were involved because they used the compass built into them to navigate in order to find the places they go to for for that which they eat and the, and, the, and the places where they breed. Birds have the same situation, dear ones. All of this was starting to change. Migration is almost exclusively controlled by the animals, birds, and mammals that use a compass built into them to migrate. So when the magnetics started to shift and move and north became someplace else, there was confusion. You saw it. I didn't make this up. Runway numbers all over the planet had to be repainted. That's where the planes land. Because those numbers are compass headings. And when the magnetics started to shift on the planet, they had to be repainted as well. Those numbers. All of this to tell you that it had begun. It began shortly after I told you that magnetics, are you ready for this? And the grids, are you ready for this? Is somehow related to human consciousness. Now that's a statement. Laughable at the time. Very laughable at the time. What does physics have to do with consciousness? It wasn't that much later that Princeton got involved, including another one, HeartMath got involved, and by the year 2001 and 2002, it was validated. Consciousness seems to alter the magnetics of the planet. Even randomness was changed by consciousness, which means that consciousness is energy. Now, here is my excitement. Have you ever studied what makes magnetics? Have you ever studied what, what creates a large magnetic field? Most of you have not. I invite you to take a look. It requires pieces of, of iron, you might say, or magma, <laughs> that rotate around each other in ways that would create the magnetic field. This Earth has one. There are other planets that do not, some do. Mars used to, it does not now. The magnetic field of the planet is for many reasons and some of them are unsubstantiated, you're not aware of them yet, but the main one that you are aware of, it protects you 
from cosmic rays and the heliosphere of the sun, which is another magnetic field which blasts toward you called the solar wind. It's a protection layer for you. It protects humanity. And it's going to continue. It's not going away. So do not then listen to the fear mongers that say, we have discovered that there's a core of this planet. It's almost like a steel ball that's, that's enormous, that's, that rotates. And we, we see that it's rotating differently and oddly. And I'm saying, that's exactly what we told you would happen. And it's happening. And they're noticing. Another science fact, you might say, in the quiver of arrows that I continue called the truth that you will discover when you choose to discover it. Why is this happening? And I will tell you yet again. If the magnetic field of this planet is related to the consciousness of humanity, this grid will shift in preparation for the new consciousness that is happening now during the shift and in the future. The reason I am here the reason I am in love with humanity is because the shift is here. The indigenous predicted the shift, not Cryon. It has been predicted all over this planet that there would be change right now, and there is. Immense, powerful change in the way humans think. A change that is so great that the kinds of things that are happening right now on the planet, war, will not happen again. And there would be those who listen to this and say, well, that's, that's very nice for you to say that, crying. but look, here we are in the shift and it's happening. So I'll tell you yet again why it's happening. This change of consciousness that some of you are seeing, a change that is so obvious in so many ways, it's not your grandfather's world. This change is a metaphor, you might say, of light starting to come onto this planet to replace that which has been a darker kind of consciousness and living for eons. Where human life is not valued at all, where war is so common that it seems like you, you have to have one every few years in order to survive. That's the kind of consciousness that you've come from. Those of you who have experienced past lives, most of them have involved war of some kind because it's always been there, always. And even when some of you got very, very spiritual, they become the, the spiritual leaders who then took over war. It seems to have been here forever. And here it is again, some of you might say. So what is that? Why is that different? I will tell you why it's different. This is not another world war, dear ones, and yet it could have been. What happened when, when the first of these two wars broke out? I'll say it again. There was no side taking. There was no so east-west kind of, of, of siding and, and arming up and, and getting ready for another world war. Instead, almost all the nations of the planet rejected it. Some at great expense to their own people so that it would not happen again. It was like all of those on the world said, no, not this time, we're done with it, how could you? And it doesn't matter who started it, how it, st how it was, it's just the fact that it was there at all is odd, isn't it? It is odd. With all that was going on in the world, what if I told you that this was those old consciousness wanting to keep it the way it was. When light starts to occur, those invested in the dark will go the second mile, the third mile, the fourth mile, they say, to keep it the same. It has to do with control. It has to do with the way things were. It has to do with a great amount of money. That's why war exists. You know that. And suddenly the world said, not this time. You may be seeing the last of the wars. 
The one that is currently in the Middle East, we have told you before, has been predicted even by the ancients, even in the spirituality that some of you have is the great book, the Bible. They said the beginning of the end times would be a war in Israel. Read it again. Some are frightened by it. Some are saying it's right on time. It is the end of an old world. A world of dark energy where people starve and go hungry. A world where wealth is not shared. A world where those don't care necessarily about each other. And now that is starting to shift. Into a planet where they're starting to look at technology that they've always had, dear ones, that now they realize could feed the earth. A technology that they've always had, by the way, dear ones, to provide electricity for everyone at very, very little or no imprint on the planet that is negative. These things are in the works. These things are happening. They're here now. Meanwhile, there are so many who want to take that light away from you. Do not fear what is happening on the earth when they tell you about this core that is moving. It is right on time. It is what I told you would happen because the core of this planet rotating the way it does is the engine for the magnetic field. Told you it was coming. And here it is. That's exciting. That's for you. All of you. Dear ones, I am crying in love of you, in love with you, in love with you, for good reason. And so it is. If you enjoyed this channeling, you might also enjoy the weekly program It Came From, Wednesdays with Cryon, a heartfelt 90-minute program with more of what you've just experienced. Why not join us?